going on everybody hair here and we're back we're here with the wrestling previews the wrestling spoiler shows wwe crown jewel 2022 this is the preview slash spoiler show let's get right into it so we have bray wyatt he's uh featured he's set to appear at crown jewel now i'm not sure what type of fashion or what kind of um objective they have for him but he is set to appear um if i had to guess and what the spoilers are saying right now too is basically he's going to show up uncle howdy's going to come out and there is even a little tidbit that the wyatt six faction might start showing itself which would be awesome so um his his new story it's not super concrete i'm not quite sure where it's going because you have uncle howdy this new character introduced um to the whole you know bray wyatt fandom the whole bray wyatt thing going on he's trying to be Bray Wyatt, the real Bray Wyatt, but then you have this Uncle Howdy character going on. You also have this rumored faction of the Wyatt Six, six characters. Um, don't think it's the Firefly Funhouse come to life. Just six characters that are rumored to join him and be this new faction. Um, so with that being said, it would be really nice if they did unveil the Wyatt Six or if we found out more about Uncle Howdy. Um, regardless, Bray Wyatt's on fire right now. He's killing it in merchandise. No matter what he does, I'm sure it will be great. So that's it for Bray Wyatt. Next, we have Braun Strowman against Omos. You have these two Titans, two Goliaths going at it. This is set up basically for Braun Strowman to go over on his, uh, basically his comeback um, pay-per-view match. I know they're not, they're called PLEs now, premium live, premium live events, but I'm stick with uh, pay-per-views. Next, you have the OC versus the Judgment Day. The OC just made their comeback. Um, so this one's kind of split in the middle. Spoilers and the odds have them 50-50. Um, to me, I think they're going to have the the OC go over just because they just came back. AJ Styles is there and the, the uh, Judgment Day, even though they're a pretty good faction, I think they're going to have their redemption next night on Raw. So that's just what the spoilers are saying. Next, you have Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Um, that should be a slobber knocker type match. Slobber knocker, slobber knocker type um just whole you know uh fight i guess you could say two former mma guys and uh two former collegiate wrestlers two just behemoths of men um, bobby lashley seems to not age brock lesnar strong as ever right now um this is this should be fun this should be fantastic should be more than 10 minutes just two guys throwing finishers and haymakers at each other it should be really fun um i've enjoyed it a lot now, with that being said, the spoilers have Brock Lesnar going over. Last time, Bobby Lashley went over with the help of Roman Reigns. So, um, we see, we'll see. I can see Bobby, La I mean, uh, Lesnar winning too, although I wouldn't be mad at um, Bobby going over just because I'm sure um, there won't be a lot of interference in this match. But it should be fun. Next, you have Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross in a steel cage match. Spoilers have Karrion Cross going over. He's been uh, going over on, on McIntyre as of recently. I can also see a scenario where the odds are uh, wrong on this one and uh, McIntyre wins, leaving the you know, the crowd going home happy um, since McIntyre is a face. But I can definitely see Cross going over with the help of Scarlet and maybe outside entities if he's part of the Y6 faction. We shall see. Next, you have Asuka and Alexa Bliss versus Damage Control for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship ships. Um, you just had Asuka and Alexa win the tag belts this past monday so this is a weird kind of mess that they're putting on right now um you can have them win again to solidify it but if you have damage control take it a week after you know oscar and alexa winning it that'd be kind of that 50 50 booking that's very annoying and uh, i just don't see that happening so i see oscar and alexa going over if they don't that'd be very surprising next you have the usos and the brawling brutes versus the undis uh brute the usos versus the brawling brutes for the undisputed wwe tag team championships um long story short you're not going to see the usos losing they're going to win they're going to keep their belts again crown jewel is basically a glorified house show it's there for the prince to enjoy and they can put you know pay-per-view premium premium event on it but it's a it's a glorified house show you hardly ever see belts get exchanged um next one you have bianca Belair versus bailey for the raw women's um championship in a last woman standing match um and uh so you have this one split too some people want bailey to go over to win the belt i don't see it happening yet i think they're going to keep pushing um belair but i can see a scenario where bailey's faction ends up helping her so 
I don't know. We shall see. But I, if I had to put my money on it, I would say Bianca Belair. She retains it just because this is a glorified house show. And next, you have your undisputed main event. You have the Tribal Chief. I acknowledge Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, uh, the undisputed Universal Heavyweight WWE Champion versus um, the Phenomenon, the Superstar from YouTube, Impulsive Boxer, everything, Logan Paul. And uh, this just came into fruition when Roman went on Logan Paul's podcast, which was awesome. And then I started seeing them work towards the end, which um, the Prince wanted to see this. He, he wanted to see it. They pay about a billion dollars to watch it, so that's what's happening. Um, Logan Paul brings a lot of eyes to the product, so it's a cross-promotional thing, even though he's you know signed to WWE. He has, a, he has over a couple million followers on his podcast. He has a giant social media following. Um, Logan Paul's big time, and he's good in the ring too. As much as people want to hate, I'm not a hater of that guy. That guy's a beast. He takes care of himself uh, body-wise, you know, bodied up. He's good on the mic. He's a good heel. And um, well, I wouldn't say good on the mic. I would say decent on the mic. And he is a really good heel. Um, but of course, you're not going to see him beat Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, all that. Um, you're going to see Roman Reigns go over. You're not going to see... Here's the thing. Like I said, Crown Jewel is a glorified house show. They're putting it on for the Prince. I'm still going to watch. I'll still be entertained. But that's exactly what it is. So you're going to have Logan Paul you know, do the job to Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table. You're not going to have Logan Paul beat Roman Reigns, who's been champion for two plus years, and you know, put a stop to all this. You're going to have someone like Cody do it. You're going to have somebody like maybe even Bray do it, You're gonna, or you'll have maybe The Rock do it at WrestleMania. I'm not sure, but R Logan Paul isn't doing it. This is just for the marquee giant um, name on the main event uh, card. So, again, Roman Reigns will go over. He will be the champion still. He'll pose with the two belts. It'll be awesome. But I think Logan Paul will show out. I think Logan Paul will have a great match, um, and I think he'll show that he's pretty damn good in the ring. And then, But, again, ultimately you're going to have – the head of the table, Tribal Chief, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns go over on this. He will not lose to Logan Paul after two years of being dominant in WWE. Again, this is just having a, almost a cross-promotional type feel. You know, giant names for that main event. And the Prince of Saudi Arabia will be happy with that. That's all I have for today. Like, subscribe, comment, official hair in the beard pod on um, Instagram. And then, of course, right here on YouTube. This is the hair.